The University of Melbourne is a public research university located in Melbourne, Australia. Founded in 1853, it is Australia's second oldest university and the oldest in Victoria. Melbourne's main campus is located in Parkville, an inner suburb north of the Melbourne Central Business District, with several other campuses located across Victoria. Melbourne is a sandstone university and a member of the Group of Eight, Universitas 21 and the Association of Pacific Rim Universities. Since 1872 various residential colleges have become affiliated with the university. There are ten colleges located on the main campus and in nearby suburbs offering academic, sporting and cultural programs alongside accommodation for Melbourne students and faculty. Melbourne comprises 11 separate academic units and is associated with numerous institutes and research centres, including the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute of Medical Research, Florey Institute of Neuroscience and Mental Health, the Melbourne Institute of Applied Economic and Social Research and the Grattan Institute. Amongst Melbourne's 15 graduate schools the Melbourne Business School, the Melbourne Law School and the Melbourne Medical School are particularly well regarded. Times Higher Education ranked Melbourne 32nd globally in 2017-2018, while the academic ranking of world universities places Melbourne 38th in the world both first in Australia, and in the QS World University Rankings 2019 Melbourne ranks 39th globally and ranked 6th in the world according to the the 2019 QS Graduate Employability Rankings. Four Australian Prime Ministers and five Governors General have graduated from the University of Melbourne. Ten Nobel laureates have been students or faculty, the most of any Australian university. The university's coat of arms is a blue shield on which a depiction of victory in white colour holds her laurel wreath over the stars of the Southern Cross. The motto, Postera Crescam Laude, Later I shall grow by praise, or, more freely, We shall grow in the esteem of future generations, is written on a scroll beneath the shield. The Latin is from a line in Horace's Odes, Ego Postera Crescam Laude Reasons. History Foundations of the University The University of Melbourne was established by Hugh Childers, the Auditor General and Finance Minister, in his first budget speech on 4 November 1852, who set aside a sum of £10,000 for the establishment of a university. The university was established by Act of Incorporation on the 22nd of January 1853 with power to confer degrees in arts, medicine, laws and music. The act provided for an annual endowment of 9000 pounds while a special grant of 20000 pounds was made for buildings that year. The foundation stone was laid on 3 July 1854, and on the same day the foundation stone for the state library classes commenced in 1855 with three professors and 16 students, of this body of students, only four graduated. The original buildings were officially opened by the Lieutenant Governor of the Colony of Victoria, Sir Charles Hotham, on 3 October 1855. A law school was established in 1857 at the Parkville campus, following which a Faculty of Engineering and School of Medicine were established in 1861 and 1862 respectively. The university's residential colleges were first opened on the northern aspect of the campus in 1872, divided between the four main Christian denominations. The first Chancellor, Redmond Barry, later Sir Redmond, held the position until his death in 1880. The inauguration of the university was made possible by the wealth resulting from Victoria's Gold Rush. The institution was designed to be a civilizing influence at a time of rapid settlement and commercial growth. In 1881, the admission of women was a scene as victory over the more conservative ruling council. 
Julia Bella Guerin graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in 1883, and became the first woman to graduate from an Australian university. Topic: 1900s to 1970s. Early in the 1900s, the university expanded its offerings to more utilitarian courses. In 1901 the number of students enrolled at the University of Melbourne exceeded 500 students for the first time. The university established the Diploma of Education in 1903, following negotiations with the Victorian Education Department. Despite the economic depression of the 1890s and the discovery of a significant fraud by a university registrar in 1901, the university continued to expand during this period. This growth included the construction of several buildings between 1900 and 1906. Such growth was facilitated largely through an increased government funding allocation, and the coinciding university-led funding campaign. To accompany the training dentists received by the Melbourne Dental Hospital, a school of dentistry was established to teach the scientific basis of dentistry at the university. Agriculture was established in 1911 following the appointment of the State Director of Agriculture as the first professor. During this period the university became a notable site for research, emerging as a leader in Australia. Following World War II the demand for higher education increased rapidly, and as a result became a transformative period for the university. 1980s – Present Expansion of the university increased significantly during the 1980s and 1990s, as the university amalgamated with a number of tertiary colleges. In 1988 the Melbourne Teachers College was brought into the Faculty of Education, and the amalgamation lead to the formation of a distinctly new Faculty of Education. The College of Advanced Education was incorporated into the university in 1989. During this period, more students than ever had before attended the university. The university had expanded its student population to beyond 35,000 students. Such amalgamations continued into the 1990s, with the Victorian College of the Arts affiliation with the University of Melbourne in 1992. This grew the number of campuses for the University of Melbourne, which would now include a new St Kilda Road location. In 2001 the Melbourne School of Population Health was established, the first of its kind in Australia, and continuing the growth of the university. Work at the centre involved contributions from a range of disciplines ranging from the social sciences to epidemiology. Health fields such as indigenous, women's, mental, sexual, and rural health have all been researched at the centre. A significant change in curriculum was established in 2008. The newly created model for education was developed, known at the university as the Melbourne Model. In this curriculum model, students firstly undertake a general bachelor degree before specializing in either a professional or research graduate course. The university's 150th anniversary was celebrated in 2003. The Melbourne School of Land and Environment was disestablished on 1 January 2015. Its Agriculture and Food Systems Department moved alongside Veterinary Science to form the Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences, while other areas of study, including horticulture, forestry, geography and resource management, moved to the Faculty of Science in two new departments. Today over 8,000 academic and professional staff support the 48,000 strong student population. The student population comprises of more than 13,000 international students, from more than 130 countries. Campus The Parkville campus is the primary campus of the university. 
Originally established in a large area north of Grattan Street in Parkville, the campus has expanded well beyond its boundaries, with many of its newly acquired buildings located in the nearby suburb of Carlton. The university is undertaking an ambitious infrastructure program to reshape campuses, VCA merger and controversy. As of May 2009, the university suspended the Bachelor of Music Theatre and Puppetry courses at the college and there were fears they may not return under the new curriculum. A 2005 Heads of Agreement over the merger of the VCA and the university stated that the management of academic programs at the VCA would ensure that the VCA continues to exercise high levels of autonomy over the conduct and future development of its academic programs so as to ensure their integrity and quality," and also that the college's identity will be preserved. New Dean Sharman Pretty outlined drastic changes under the university's plan for the college in early April 2009. As a result, it is now being called into question whether the university have upheld that agreement. Staff at the college responded to the changes, claiming the university did not value vocational arts training, and voicing fears over the future of quality training at the VCA. Former Victorian Arts Minister Race Matthews has also weighed in on the debate expressing his hope that Melbourne University will not proceed with its proposed changes to the Victorian College of the Arts. And for good sense to prevail, in 2011, the Victorian state government allocated $24 million to support arts education at the VCA and the faculty was renamed the Faculty of the Victorian College of the Arts and the Melbourne Conservatorium of Music. Topic: Residential Colleges. Melbourne University currently has ten residential colleges in total, seven of which are located in an arc around the Cricket Oval at the northern edge of the campus, known as College Crescent. The other three are located outside of university grounds. The residential colleges aim to provide accommodation and holistic education experience to university students. Most of the university's residential colleges also admit students from RMIT University and Monash University, Parkville campus, with selected colleges also accepting students from the Australian Catholic University and Victoria University. Topic Architecture Several of the earliest campus buildings, such as the old Quadrangle and Baldwin Spencer buildings, feature period architecture. The new Wilson Hall replaced the original building, which was destroyed by fire. <laughs> Libraries The Melbourne University Library has 3 million visitors performing 42 million loan transactions every year. The general collection comprises over 3.5 million items including books, DVDs, photographic slides, music scores and periodicals as well as rare maps, prints and other published materials. The library also holds over 32,000 e-books, hundreds of databases and 63,000 general and specialist journals in digital form. The libraries include Architecture Building and Planning Library Architecture, Building and Planning Bailiw Library Arts and Humanities Brownless Biomedical Library Medicine and Veterinary Science Eastern Resource Center Science, Agricultural Science, Engineering, East Asian Collection and Louise Hansen Dyer Music Library Giblin Yunsen Library Business, Economics and Education Law Library Law Lenten Pa Music, Visual and Performing Arts Library formerly VCA Library Visual and Performing Arts Burnley Horticulture and Plant Sciences Kresic Ecosystem and Forest Sciences. Dukey Agricultural and Veterinary Sciences. 
Werribee Veterinary Science. Topic: Other campuses. The university has four other campuses in metropolitan Melbourne at Burnley, Southbank, Hawthorne and Werribee. The Burnley campus is where horticultural courses are taught. Performing arts courses are taught at the Southbank campus. Commerce courses are taught at the Hawthorne campus. Veterinary science is taught at the Werribee campus. In regional Victoria, the Creswick and Dukey campuses are used for forestry and agriculture courses respectively. They previously housed several hundred residential students, but are now largely used for short courses and research. The Shepparton campus is home to the Rural Health Academic Centre for the Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences. The university is a part owner of the Melbourne Business School, based at Parkville campus, which ranked 46th in the 2012 Financial Times Global Rankings. Topic: Organization. The university is organized into faculties and graduate schools. These are Faculty of Architecture, Building and Planning Faculty of Arts Faculty of Business and Economics Melbourne Graduate School of Education Melbourne School of Engineering Melbourne Law School Faculty of Medicine, Dentistry and Health Sciences Faculty of Science Faculty of Veterinary and Agricultural Sciences Faculty of Fine Arts and Music Governance Governance of the University is grounded in an Act of Parliament, the University of Melbourne Act 2009. The peak governing body is the Council the key responsibilities of which include appointing the Vice-Chancellor and Principal, approving the Strategic Direction and Annual Budget, establishing operational policies and procedures and overseeing academic and commercial activities as well as risk management. The Chair of the Council is the Chancellor. The Academic Board oversees learning, teaching and research activities and provides advice to the Council on these matters. The Committee of Convocation represents graduates and its members are elected in proportion to the number of graduates in each faculty. Endowment The University of Melbourne has an endowment of approximately $1.335 billion, the largest of any Australian tertiary institution. However, Australian endowments are relatively small compared with those of the wealthiest U.S. universities. The university's endowments recovered after hardship following the 2008 Great Recession, which shrank its investments by 22%. This required restructuring of the university, including cutting of some staff, largely through redundancies and early retirements. A further round of cuts, driven by lingering concerns about finances and declining federal contributions to the tertiary sector, took place under the Business Improvement Program (BIP) from 2014 to 16 and involved another 500 jobs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Academia The university has 11 academic units, some of which incorporate a graduate school. The overall attrition and retention rates at the university are the lowest and highest respectively in Australia. The university has one of the highest admission requirements in the country, with the median ATAR of its undergraduates being 94.05 
Furthermore, the university continued to attract outstanding students, for example, 50% of the Premier's VCE top all round high achievers enrolled at the University of Melbourne. According to the 2009 Times Higher Education QS World University Rankings, Melbourne was then the only Australian university to rank in the top 30 in all five core subject areas, with three subject areas ranked in the top 20. Topic. Research Melbourne University claims that its research expenditure is second only to that of the Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organisation In 2010 the university spent $813 million on research. In the same year the university had the highest numbers of Federal Government Australian Postgraduate Awards and International Postgraduate Research Scholarships as well as the largest totals of Research Higher Degree student load students and RHD completions Melbourne model The University of Melbourne is unlike any other university in Australia so far as it offers nine generalised three-year degrees instead of more traditional specialised undergraduate degrees Bachelor of Arts Bachelor of Agriculture Bachelor of Biomedicine Bachelor of Commerce Bachelor of Design Bachelor of Fine Arts Bachelor of Music Bachelor of Oral Health Bachelor of Science the Bachelor of Design was a new addition that began in 2017 this corresponded with the closure of the Bachelor of Environments 2008 to 2016 which was controversially axed in 2016 against the wishes of several participating departments wishing to retain an environmental focus the change from the former curriculum, which offered many single and joint degrees, is often described as the Melbourne model, and was implemented under the leadership of Vice-Chancellor Glyn Davis in 2008. The university also offers postgraduate courses including professional entry master's degrees that follow undergraduate courses with greater specialization in the early 2000s which offers an innovative cross faculty environmental master's degrees of 2007 Melbourne University aimed to offer 75% of graduate places as hex with the remaining 25% paying full fees a number of professional degrees are available only for graduate entry. These degrees are at a master's level according to the Australian Qualification Framework, but are named «master's» or «doctorate» following the practice in North America. <laughs> Reaction to the Melbourne curriculum Various groups, including trade and student unions, academics, and some students have expressed criticism of the Melbourne model, citing job and subject cuts, and a risk of «dumbing down» content. A group of students also produced a satirical musical regarding the matter. The model has been subject to internal review, with the shift from the B environments to B design being one result. Topic. Rankings Times Higher Education ranked Melbourne 32nd globally first nationally in the 2017-2018 iteration of its annual World University Rankings. In the QS World University Rankings 2019, the University of Melbourne was ranked 39th globally second in Australia.
In the most recent CWTS Leiden ranking, Melbourne was ranked 33rd in the world second nationally, the university was ranked 38th globally first in Australia in the 2018 publication of the Academic Ranking of World Universities League table. According to QS World University Subject Rankings 2015, the University of Melbourne is ranked 5th in the world for education, 8th in law, 13th in computer science. Science and IT, 13th in Arts and Humanities, 14th in Accounting and Finance, 14th in Dentistry and 18th in Medicine. <laughs> Arts and Culture The university is associated with several arts institutions in the wider community. These include the Ian Potter Museum of Art, which houses the university's visual arts collection. 33 cultural collections, embodying the history of many of the academic disciplines taught at the university. These include the Granger Museum collection of musical cultural artifacts, the Medical History Museum, covering the history of the medical profession in Victoria, and the Harry Brooks Allen Museum of Anatomy and Pathology, which contains more than 8,000 specimens relevant to the teaching of medicine and other health sciences. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student life. Topic. Prosh Week Prosh is a celebrated tradition at the University of Melbourne and is usually held in late September in which teams of students engage in various non-academic activities, including go-kart races, a 24-hour scavenger hunt, and lecture theatre pranks. There are two types of teams that compete during Prosh. Big. Teams of more than 20 proshers, e.g., arts spoons, science, and small teams, e.g., Bay 13 and Cult Fiction, with less than 20. The winning team claims the Prosh Week trophy and eternal glory. Prosh Week is organized and hosted by the judges, six elusive figures that placed in the prior year's Prosh Week. These characters always have judge names which follow a general theme, for example 2015 saw the rise of the literary character judges, whilst 2016 see comic book character judges. The origins of Prosh are debated and no one knows why or how it started. One theory claims that Prosh came from a week that was nicknamed Posh Week due to the number of times students would have to dress up in formal attire for a glut of university student balls hosted around the time. The effects of alcohol caused words to be slurred, and thus, posh, became, prosh. Another theory claims that, prosh, is short for, procession, a week that involved students parading around Parkville and surrounding suburbs for unknown reasons. Despite the contested origins of Prosh, it is now a week where University of Melbourne affiliated teams complete a range of nonsensical tasks. Topic: <laughs> Sport. The university has participated in various sports in its history and has 39 affiliated clubs. Sport is overseen by Melbourne University Sport. The Melbourne University Sports Union was the predecessor to the current Melbourne University Sports Association. Since its inception, the aim of the union and now the association is to provide a collective voice for all affiliated sporting clubs on the university campus. In 2004, the Melbourne University Sports Association celebrated its centenary. The Melbourne University Lacrosse Club MULC, was established in 1883 and is the oldest continually operational lacrosse club in the world. The Melbourne University Cycling Club MUCYC, is associated with Cycling Australia and competes regularly at local and national races. 
In 2008 MUCYC won its seventh consecutive August Championship 2002 -2008. .The Melbourne University Tennis Club was one of the original five, five clubs established for the students and staff of the university, with various tennis competitions and social tennis events held on campus as early as 1882. Melbourne Accelerator Program map. Since its inception in 2012, MAP has evolved into a program that hosts a range of public events, workshops and feeder programs to help upskill and connect entrepreneurs of all stages. The best startups on campus are awarded access to the MAP Startup Accelerator. In 2014, MAP was one of two Australian university accelerators that have been named in a global list of top 25 university incubators produced by University Business Incubator Index. The first MAP cohort in 2012 includes Blue Sky, 121 Cast, VenueMob, and New Wave Power Systems. Notably, Blue Sky managed to enter the finals of the Star Trek Online Retail Industry Awards 2014 for Best Mobile Shopping App against large Australian e commerce incumbents, including the iconic and 121 cast signed a large content partnership contract with Southern Cross Austereo. MAP student founders have collectively raised over $5.6 million in funding, created more than 60 jobs, and generated over $1 million in revenue. Revenue. They tackle big problems across a range of industries, from medical devices and hardware, to financial technology, web solutions, e-commerce and software. Notable alumni and faculty The University of Melbourne has produced many notable alumni, with graduates having held the offices of Governor-General, Governor of Victoria, Prime Ministers of Australia, Justices of the High, Federal, Family and Victorian Supreme Courts, Premiers of Victoria and elected leaders of other states and territories, Nobel laureates, a First Lady of East Timor, Ministers of Foreign Countries, Lord Mayors, academics, architects, historians, poets, philosophers, politicians, scientists, physicists, authors, industry leaders, defense force personnel, corporate leaders, community leaders, as well as numerous artists. Film credits The Parkville campus was used extensively to shoot interior and exterior scenes in the MIFF funded The Death and Life of Otto Bloom starring Twilight actor Xavier Samuel and Golden Globe nominee Rachel Ward. See also List of universities in Australia NICTA, National Information and Communication Technology Research Centre, co-supported by Melbourne University University of Melbourne Academic Dress Victorian School of Forestry Victorian Students' Aid Programme